Okay guys, I am here for a second time because the first take I started doing the tutorial and I could not find my Copic marker to save my soul. So I spent 10 minutes looking for it and I knew you guys did not want to wait and watch those 10 minutes of me looking for the card. So let's start over. <laughs> okay, so today's card is pretty quick. It is kind of simple. I am using patterned paper because I said I wanted to challenge myself. And I actually have two cards ready, and so um, I have another tutorial that I'll be showing you a different day. It's kind of the same-ish, a little. It's kind of like the same layout. It's the same design, but different. Very different. Extremely different. I don't know. Anyways, so for this card, I'm using the Heirloom Frames 3D, endo 3D Endossing. Embossing folder, I'm using the Oval. And then the Coordinating Frame Dies, I used the Oval one, of course. I'm using Forever Blossoms, and I'm using this lovely blossom, and then I am using the Parisian dyes, and I'm using this little flourish thing here, and Merci, 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 I don't know, my husband was trying to tell me how to say it, and clearly it went in one ear and out the other, like most things, and then I am using... Parisian Blossom Specialty Designer Series Paper, and I am using this beautiful um, petal pink colored um, foiled paper, and I'm using these blue flowers right here. So, um, thankfully, I didn't get too much into it. Sorry, I just whacked the table. Um, so, only a little bit's been done. Um... So the card base is A2 size, so that measures 11 inches by five and a half. Um, this blue piece, which I unfortunately already put on in the last video, um, measures four by five and a quarter. So thankfully I didn't get too much done, but I love the foiling. Um, so I have this piece, it is the champagne foil paper um, by Stampin' Up and I put it through the heirloom frame and the, the frame embossing folder and then the die. Um, so to get the perfect oval to fit inside here, I just took the die and I kind of held it over the paper to figure out how much paper I would need just for that specific part of the die. Um, that way I didn't waste paper and so I was able to cut it out that way because I wanted the circ the oval to be the perfect size. And then I have a little flourish and the champagne um, foil. And then I are, have already stamped and cut this out. Like I said, I am trying to be, woo, look like covering up the camera there. I'm trying to be fast with these videos since I no longer edit. Um, I know I'm like a broken record saying that, but I just, um, don't know if everybody watches my videos. They might have seen some of the edited videos and might wonder why I'm not doing that anymore. Um, so then I also, another thing I have is the Merci, whatever, the thank you die in French. Um, and I've backed it with foam to give it a little dimension. And the way I do that is I take, I took the petal pink paper and put it on some um, adhesive foam, and then I just put the die on there and ran it through my machine. All right, let's get started. So the colors I'm using today um, for the Copic coloring is R20, I am not in the frame, R20, G46, and G43. I will not be doing any shading whatsoever in any form on the flowers because I do not have a color, like I don't have colors with this marker to do that because I wanted the color of my flowers to match the petal pink and I do not have stamp and blends and probably won't buy them just because of the fact that I already own a bunch of Copics. So yeah, this is gonna be some fast coloring. I did shade the um, leaves though. But this card is so pretty when it's done. Like, it's so simple, quick, and easy, but it is, like, jaw-dropping. Well, I guess for me, it's jaw-dropping. Um, just for the fact that I made pattern paper look good on a card. <laughs> 
I really do struggle when it comes to pattern paper. But I'm trying, because I buy the pattern paper because it's so pretty. And then I never use it because I'm like, I don't know how to use pattern paper. I'm a, I do like background, like I make my own backgrounds and stuff like that. Like that comes naturally to me and pattern paper, I just look at it and I sit there and I struggle. But I'm forcing myself. Life is all about challenging yourself. You'll never get better at something if you don't challenge. Why am I going so deep into this video? Oh, gosh. Sorry. <laughs> <sighs> so, nothing really new with me. I still have to take my Christmas decorations down. I got the tree down, but all the decorations outside are still up. I'm like... Is anybody else out there like that? Where last year, I the last two years, I got it down like immediately, like before December first even came. I was like, okay, this is all coming down. It's over. It's done with. Move on. And this year, I'm like so busy with everything that I'm just like, I don't feel like it. Like I need to hire somebody to come take down my decorations. <laughs> That's pretty bad. And of course, when you're decorating, like, it's so fun. So you're like, we're going to put everything up. We're going to go all out. And then when you're taking it down, it's not fun. So you don't want to do it. <laughs> okay. Um, so now I'm taking the G46 and I am just doing what I did kind of like in the last video. Where I just go on the stems with it. They don't need shading. Nobody's looking at my shading on my stems. I pretty much have every bundle that's in the Stampin' Up! catalog that just came out, but I'm thinking I have, have two more stamp sets in mind. I'm debating on if I want to get the Tulip one. I don't need it under any circumstances at all, and my husband is like, no. <laughs> he knows he can't stop me, like... He's not controlling or anything in that type of matter, but he's just like, you have enough. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I want to use what I have. I do have the, um, the Valentine one that came with the punches and the doilies and all that. And I need to use it because, you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. But for some reason, I can't make myself do it yet. I'm like, I'm going to play with the other ones. Sorry for my rambling, guys. I'm just in a rambly mood today. It's like almost, well, it probably is 11 o'clock at night here. Just finished packing all my orders up and did all my work. So now I'm just kind of playing before bed. I still have to eat. That's a bad thing about me is I forget to eat. <laughs> I'm so busy that I just forget. I'm like, oh yeah, I didn't eat. But the hubby is making us um, chicken and we have some candy beams. So after this video, your girl's gonna go eat. So um, I'm just doing the blending like I did before where it has the dark shading already on the flowers. I'm just adding my dark color. And yeah, it's this stamp set is super easy. So if you're like a beginner trying to learn how to um, do blending and stuff, I would recommend starting out with stamps like this, what already has like dark shaded areas in it because it's, it's super easy. Like um, just the mere fact that I only put one color on these just so it matches the petal pink color and the card. Um, like I couldn't do that with a stamp set where it doesn't have any shading already because that would just look flat and plain and boring. So this is definitely a good set for beginner um, alcohol um, blending markers. All right, so that is good enough in my eyes. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting it together. Like I said, this card is super simple, but it is stunning in my eyes. I just love it. So you're going to see me here doing a lot of taping. 
and gluing because that's what I do. If you're new to my channel, I am not one that is saving adhesive forever. I, in my mind, feel that, sorry, I'm going to zoom you out a little bit. In my mind, adhesive is cheap enough for me to where I'm just going to go ahead and adhere it how I like to. I don't know, I'm just rambling. I've seen comments, not on my videos, but on other people's videos that use glue like me and the comments are like, you're using way too much glue. So I'm trying to avoid those comments by telling everybody that I have a glue addiction. And yeah, not the type of addiction where I'm smelling it. Just the addiction of where I want it all over the back of my cards. <laughs> I imagine half the viewers have already left because of my insane rambling tonight. <laughs> oh my, you didn't have to listen to this when I was doing voiceovers. I just kind of told you what I was doing and that was that. And now you got to watch me like glue stuff and I got to talk about something while I'm gluing. I mean, I don't want to just sit here in silence. And there goes my furnace on. So you guys are hearing the sounds of the furnace. All right. Am I gluing it? I'm gluing it upside down. There is a difference in the, like, in this part and this part. This part is the bottom part. Let me stand up. Things are getting serious. Needs to be perfect because I have a problem where if it's not perfect, it bothers me. Okay. Well, I guess not perfect. Nothing ever is perfect in life, but I need it to be as perfect as it can possibly be. So I figured out, so the 3D embossing folders were not working for me and um, uh, I don't have one nearby. So when you buy a traditional big shot machine, it comes with um, a, the stackable things, it's hinged, it's a hinged platform. That was my problem, no matter what I did, or tried. I actually broke my big shot and had to buy a new big shot. Um, trying those folders and no matter what I did, I couldn't get it right with the hinged platform. So I went on one of the Facebook groups and I put a like in search of post out asking anybody if they had like one of the Stampin' Up! platforms where it doesn't have the hinge and how Stampin' Up! like was originally wanting these to be used. Well, ever since I got an actual Stampin' Up! platform not the not the magnetic one but one um let's make sure that this is you know straight not a, the magnetic one just the one that normally came with the big shot when you could buy them from stampin up i bought one of those and now all my 3d embossing folders work like a dream i don't know if it's just it's probably just user error like it probably was nothing wrong with the hinged one but I could not get it to work to save my soul and after I broke the first big shot I was not trying again until I had the actual Stampin' Up! one because that was just ridiculous. <sighs> Still have my broken one. It kind of works. It's just the bar is bent like inside. <sighs> but that's my life. Breaking big shots here and there. So now I have two big shots, a cuddle bug, and my little mini one on my desk. And honestly, woo! Oh my god. Um, sorry. My husband is probably like, what is going on in there? Um, honestly, out of all the ones I have, my favorite one is the little mini one on my desk. Like, I'm not even joking. The fact that I can die cut something sitting at my desk without having to get up is a lifesaver. So if you don't have one, like a desk one, like a little teeny one, I would highly recommend it. <laughs> He's probably wondering what in the world is going on. I'm telling you guys, I mean, no voiceovers equals insanity back in session, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I occasionally lose followers and that's okay. I completely understand. I understand. Okay, another thing I liked about fast forwarding is you didn't have to see me 
cutting all this stuff up because I am like one of those people that puts adhesive everywhere. I just find it goes through the mail better when you have more. Because if you don't, if you, like I've seen some people where they're adding dimensionals to like this part, like the background part, and they'll put one here, one here, one here, one here, and that's it. And when you run, the problem is when it goes through US mail, it's going through all those machines. And so then when the recipient gets the card, then it's, since it's been crushed down in the machine, like, um, you'll see like, where they poofed up, like where the middle part sank down from the machine, but this part stayed up so you can see it. I don't know if that's making any sense. Jennifer McGuire also has done a video on that and why she uses um, foam behind hers, which is super inexpensive. Like Michael's, you can get a whole foam sheet with adhesive on the back for a dollar, 99 cents. And then if you have like one of those 25% off coupons or whatever then it's you know 75 cents so it's so cheap I buy them all the time all right guys I promise last ones I think I just want to get that I don't even know why I'm doing this well I guess this one I probably won't give to customers it's, it's too pretty to give to people that I know are gonna throw it away I'll probably give it to family a nice little thank you card. I didn't want to put the Amore because they have that Amore sentiment. I didn't want to put that on here because I mean I already have Valentine's Day cards up the wazoo from when I used to do them. I used to do tons of them before my husband even came to the picture like before we even started dating. So I have enough cards to give him probably for like the next five to ten years. So I didn't want to create a bunch of love cards because like who am I giving these to because I don't have many family members so I, so yeah I just figure I'll stick with thank you cards I can always use a thank you card but see how um this pink it matches pretty good with that pink so that's why I did that and didn't do any shading because I wanted it to kind of match trying to match a little better than I did in the last video. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this little flourish and I'm using like a fine tip nozzle here and we're gonna attempt to not get glue everywhere. But with me, there's usually glue everywhere. I'm glad to see that um, it seemed like some people were enjoying the Black Friday hauls and um, some people said that I added some stuff to their wish list or whatever, so that's cool. Glad I could do that. And then I'll, um, some people really liked the stamps that I got from the Ukraine company, which their stamps, I have to say, are very, very unique. I don't see any American um, sellers really with those types of cards or stamp styles so I thought that that was really those cards were really er, stamps oh my gosh I apologize I'm sorry I just it's late but I wanted to get this done because this is a really cool card in my eyes okay we're almost done actually and now I am just taking my Merci. Merci. I can't do it with the, fat, the French accent. I don't know. My stuff keeps falling over. And so I'm just taking some glue. Because only one side has adhesive on the foam. So you do have to glue one side. But that's not a problem. And make sure when you're cutting out your... Thank you in French. <laughs> I don't want to butcher it again. Uh, make sure when you're cutting it out that you um, keep the little eye. Is that straight? Sorry, guys. Yes, yeah, it looks pretty straight to me. Good enough. Okay. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and take a little dab of glue. Stick it there for my eye. And I am just 
just going to stick it down and like so and then I'm taking the champagne rhinestones I'm gonna have to order some more of these rhinestones. I love them. I just love the Parisian set. It is so pretty. All right, so let's see here. I added one up here somewhere. Maybe I'll stick it in the middle of that flower. Um, 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 um. Make sure I'm in frame here. That's the worst part is when I don't realize that I'm not in a frame and then like the entire video is ruined. And take one of the small ones. So after I, um, is that all I did? Five. So after I do all my Stampin' Up! videos, that's when I'll start digging into the stuff I got on Black Friday. I just... I kind of do one thing at a time. Um, next is Wink of Stella. Wrong one. Here is my juicy one. Okay, and you know me. I just go all out with sparkle. Um, I wonder if I. I'm debating on in my head if I want to put like um, rhinestones in the middle. Oh, okay, that's a lot. Why do I always do that? Don't make the same mistakes as I do. I always do that. It's not too bad. <laughs> Ugh. Whatever. Maybe I will give this one to a customer. My oopsie daisy one. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but now it's like, I don't know if you can, probably not, can't see it. Okay, um... So yeah, there is my, whoops, there are my cards. I hope you like them. Um, again, it was another challenge for me to use my pattern paper. And I do have another tutorial that I'll be showing in the next day or so using the same type of layout, but different. So if you liked my videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.